Welcome to Flutter -E Teacher. In this video, we are going to deep dive into the list style widget along with its fantastic set of properties. So without wasting time, let's get started. Whether it's contact list, WhatsApp chat or setting options in the phone, list style is one of the most precise way for presenting an individual item inside the list. Let's talk about the basics of list style. As you can see, list style is logically divided in three parts. The first part on the left side is known as the leading, we can call it as the starting part, whereas the end part is known as the trailing. And the part that remains at the center is called the center of say, content of the list style. For controlling the leading, we have a property called leading, and for controlling this end part, we got a property called trailing. The center part has got two different options. The first one is my using the property called title, and another one is the subtitle. We can completely customize this list style because all these four properties are the widgets. Circle avatar or image is a common choice for creating the leading. However, in some cases, we can simply use a circle avatar having the text only. For trailing, usually icons are preferred and the title and subtitles are made using the text widget. For determining the compactness of list style, we have a property called dense and the another property is called the visual density. You can observe here as I have made the dense true, that's the reason this Siddharth Party of Flutter developer is quite compact, whereas uh, the dense is false for this Alex, and that's the reason this Alex is looking quite bigger than the uh, the first list style. Each three line property determines whether the list style is intended to display three lines of text. The default value for each three line is false, and make sure that when we use the true for this each three line, the value for subtitle should not be null. You can observe here for the first list style we have a little gap at the bottom and when i just come in this is three line means when i make it false you can observe now when i say here uh, this gap is now disappeared we usually keep single line for the title and one or two for the subtitle let's talk about different types of callbacks in the list style we have got two methods on tap and on long brace to make our list style interactive you can see here we are simply defined the methods on tap and on long press having just a print statement when i tap on this list style so it gives me message you just tap and when i long press on this list style it is giving message you long pressed we can individually control the tabs of leading title subtitle or the trailing simply by wrapping them inside the inkwell or just the detector widgets using the enabled property we can make our list style enabled or disabled the default value for this is true and when I use the false, you can observe here, my list style is disabled. So when I click here or when I long press on that one, nothing is going to happen with the method on tap or on long press. So let me make it true so that it's now enabled and you can now perform interaction over it. So let me just erase my console and when I tap here, we're getting message, you just tap and when I long press, I'm getting message, you just long pressed. Now let's talk about different types of color options available for the list style. Icon color property determines the color of icons in your list style. So as I'm using the icons for both leading and trailing, so both these icons appears in the red color. However, if I just change, say, means if I change my leading from say icon to say some image or circle of that, so in this case, uh, there is no effect of this icon color on the leading. It simply has effect on the trailing only. The text color determines the color of text and that is going to control both the color of title as well as the subtitle. The tile color determines the color of entire list style. As you can see, entire list style appears in a black color as I have set the tile color to colors.black. Selected tile color determines the color of entire tile when the value of selected is true. And selected color determines the color of entire content for the leading title, subtitle and trailing when the selected value is true. So make sure both these color options are going to work when we have the selected true. Let me make it false and you can observe now this type of means this uh, selected tile color and selected color is not going to work at all. Let's understand this hover and the focus color. So focus color is going to work only in case of web and the desktop not for the mobile version. That's why I have switched my application to this web version. Uh, you can see here for this hover color a value is made as the color dot orange and that's the reason when I keep mouse on the any uh, specific list style okay for both this list style I have this orange color so when I keep mouse on here that is when I'm hovering over this list style it is changing the color to say orange and uh, focus indicates when uh, when I press the tab button for example let me press the tab button you can see here 
when i press the tab so the first uh, list style is getting selected that is it is focused so that's why its color appeared in the green color and when i just press a tab again so second tab is getting the second list style is getting selected and as we have green color here so that's the reason for this second list style the focus color is now green so when i keep the tab here you can see here it is getting selected and deselected means it is getting uh, focused uh, for the first and the second list style and when i keep a mouse on here it's going to change the color to color dot orange let's talk about different types of padding available for the list style uh, we have a property called content padding that determines the padding for entire list style default value for this is 16 and as you can see as i have changed it to say 50 across all the sides so it is going to apply some more padding of space for all the four sides of list style as the name suggests horizontal title gap simply determines the gap before the title and after the title so uh, default value for this is again 16 you can observe here as we have a gap of 100 pixel and that's the reason there is a 100 pixel gap on the left and right hand side of the title so let me change this gap to say 120 you can observe here so this text means this title and subtitle is going to wrap itself so that there should be a gap of 120 on the left and right hand side of the title main lead width determines the minimum width allocated for the leading default value is 40 pixel and as i have changed it to say 100 pixel you can see here there is much more gap after this leading icon let me change it to say 10 pixel you can see now there is a little small gap available mean vertical padding simply determines the top and bottom padding uh, for the title and subtitle default value for this is just a 4 pixel and as i have changed it to 50 pixel you can see here there is a much more gap on the top and bottom side of title and the subtitle shape allows us to apply custom shape like say a rounded rectangle for the list style you can observe here uh, we have made the rounded rectangle border with the border radius of 30 pixel and just to have a simple appearance for the list style i have made the tile color to green that's why this list style is appearing in green color and there's a quite nice rounding at the uh, uh, starting and end of the list style style property determines the font for the title of the list style its value is passed by using the enum called list style and it has two options list style dot list and list style dot drawer the default value is list style dot list and when we use list here we can see here the title simply appears uh, without a bold font face but when i change say it's to say drawer so what it's going to do it's going to uh, make a little compact for this title and the title appears in the bold font face mouse cursor determines the type of mouse cursor to be shown when user hovers on the list style it works only in web and the desktop mode and make sure that in order to use this mouse cursor value for this on tab should not be null you can see here as i use the value for this mouse cursor is forbidden so when i put the mouse on this other party it is showing the icon like forbidden and say let me change it to say text so it will appear like uh, i'm doing some text activity so you can see here when i just hold the mouse the uh, icon just changed to text and when i change it to say cell so let's write here cell and let's save here you can see now it is appearing like the cell icon that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos